making three things over here. Da, da, da. Now, I've made this with fresh pineapple, and it's fabulous. It really is. But there's a couple things I'd like to note about that. You can't always get good fresh pineapple, and the canned stuff is consistently high in quality. And pineapple was a very traditional dessert, even a couple hundred years ago, because pineapples came up to us, I think, from the Caribbean, and they were a mark of welcome, and they were all canned. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. All right, so all you have to do here... Oh, the other thing I like about using canned pineapple, they're all exactly the same size every single time. I can't pull that off when I use a fresh pineapple. So it all depends on how pretty you want to make it. And I think I can scoot a little more pineapple in there. I don't try to be quite so symmetrical. Oh, there we go. Now we like that. That's nice. And then, again, no fresh cherries. So traditionally this dessert was done with canned or bottled preserved cherries. And my grandmother used these, so I'm telling you to do it too. You don't mess with granny. And then pecans, because we're in the South, and everything is better with pecans, especially if there's a caramel element in it. Now the brown sugar, and it was actually three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I have to remind myself what I've done. The brown sugar and the butter come together and make caramel, which when you're done and you invert this upside down cake, will create this lovely caramel sauce for the top of your cake. And you notice I've got a cast iron skillet. There were no cake pans. I mean, if you can certainly use a cake pan if you want to, but I wouldn't. So. <laughs> All right, hang on a second, I'm getting our batter. Getting all off. Now, I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. All right, see? Now, you want to kind of plop it on top because you don't want to disrupt your pretty little patterns down there. So you don't want to have to mess with it too much once you've got it in there. But this is all you have to do. And you've got to admit, for something that yummy, pineapple upside down cake, which of course has to have a little bit of ice cream or whipped cream or bourbon <laughs> on the side. For something that yummy, how long did it take? 10 minutes? Okay, so just pat it out. It's going to run a little bit in the oven, meaning it will kind of spread out some for you. But give it a head start. And that's it. See? Now, you know I'm telling you to always taste the raw stuff? Mm. Alright, we let our pineapple upside down cake go for about 25 minutes in the 375 degree oven. You know, the time, again, is not what you're looking for. What you want is doneness. You want this lovely golden crust. You want to know that he's baked all the way through. And you see, I stuck a little skewer in him to make sure he was done. It came out clean. We're good to go. That's my dog. Look, apparently there's a plastic bag in the backyard and he's working at it. Give me just a second. But I would like to tell you he is sorry for interrupting our video. Aren't you? You can touch him because I'm not actually touching the food at this point. All right, here's the only tricky part. And the reason it's tricky, this is extremely heavy and it's very hot. You want to invert a platter over the top of it. You get a really good grip. And you know what? I'm actually going to grab another one. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to grab another one because I want to have both sides really well. Okay? This is when you say a prayer to whoever is the patron saint of old baked goods. Ha ha ha. And I know that that's already come out because I can see him peeking out on this side. Ah, I lost one pineapple. But let me show you why that's not even a problem. Pick him up. Oh, that's hot. 
That was so much for my puppy. Okay. Now, tell me that that isn't a thing of beauty. I'm gonna scoot him over. Ah, that much. I tell you, when I see something like this, when you don't know what's actually happening on the bottom of the pan, when you can't see it, and you're going on faith, when you do that kind of maneuver, and you get that, ta-da, you gotta love that. That's just awesome. Now tell me that if I gave you that, you wouldn't want to buy me jewelry.